Jessica Gray has MS. Her condition means she has to balance training with long periods of rest and at times she also needs a wheelchair. But while she's still able, Gray's determined to leave a legacy for her son. When I'm older, even if I'm more sick with MS, you know, he can look back and look at me and think, you know, my mum's a, a world champion bench press athlete not, you know, someone that's unwell. She's set five Australian records, represented the country internationally and ranked as high as seventh in the world. The Rio Paralympics were calling. But ahead of her first Commonwealth Games, Gray's funding was pulled. I was told just before we were leaving, well, when you get back, you won't have any support. So my sort of dreams were sort of shattered. And Paralympic dreams don't come cheap. International competitions essential for qualification cost between two and $5,000. With her condition, she doesn't have as much time in the day to do things. Just getting the training done was difficult and then having to you know, source how we're gonna pay for all her trips and things. Putting Rio out of reach. A lack of funding, a fact of life for many with Paralympic dreams. We've worked really hard to lobby government in the past to try and get uh, equal funding for our Paralympic athletes to those of their, their um, Olympic counterparts. And that's going a long way to helping them, but it is a very difficult slog. The Australian Sports Commission ceased funding for para powerlifting in 2014, saying the sport was unlikely to produce medals in Rio or Tokyo 2020. But Jessica Gray is determined to prove them wrong at the next Commonwealth Games. It sort of says to the, the people that didn't help her, like, oh, look, I've done it anyway. They turned around and said, oh, look, you know, if I won a medal, I'll work more you to come back as a, uh, you know, uh, a supported athlete or something. I'm not sure if I would say yes now. Gray determined to prove she shouldn't be underestimated. <laughs> Abby Dinham, SBS World News.